What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today for you guys I am going to be filming a products I've used up slash empties video. I love watching these videos. It's like a million small reviews jammed into one video. So I have a ton of different things to show you guys today and tell you all about them, whether I liked them, whether I didn't like them, and if I have repurchased the product or not. I hope you're excited to go through my trash with me and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this by category. So I'm gonna start off with hair stuff. First thing I have is this hairspray by Tresemme. This is their Tray 2 spray. Um, it's like the five strengths. So this is like the strongest hairspray that they have in this line of hairspray. This hairspray is really cheap. You get a lot for the price that you pay. And it also just does a really great job, um, especially for somebody like me who has really th uh, fine, thin hair that isn't always the best at holding different styles. This hairspray is a lifesaver. Um, so I did repurchase this when I finished it up, but I got the 3 strength instead of the 5 strength um, because I did feel that the 5 strength was making my hair just like a little bit too crunchy and I've been using the 3 for a while now and the Trade 2 like 3 strength one is really good. Kind of like the perfect mix of like a like super firm hold, but it doesn't make your hair like super crunchy. So yeah, definitely a really good um, affordable hairspray. I definitely recommend this. Next I have a container of Batiste Dry Shampoo and this is the Coconut and Exotic Tropical Scent. I am a huge fan of Batiste Dry Shampoo. Batiste is actually the only brand of dry shampoo that I really like. I've tried the Not Your Mother's one, a Tresemme one, and one other one from the drugstore. And the Batiste one has it's just the best one that you can get at the drugstore. I love that it comes in so many different varieties of scents. Um, they also, I think, make one that's meant for girls with darker hair like me, but I personally don't have any issues when I use this. Um, I never feel like it makes my hair look white or my roots look white, anything like that. It just very easily disperses and goes into my hair very evenly. So I've never really had any issues with it, like since I've had dark hair having any issues with this dry shampoo, but yes, it smells great and it does such a good job of super quickly refreshing your hair, getting rid of any excess oil and making your hair last that like extra day or two without washing, which is really nice. Yeah, definitely recommend uh, this dry shampoo if you are in the market for a dry shampoo. <laughs> Next up I have a shampoo and conditioner. Um, this is by the brand OGX and this is their hydrating tea tree mint shampoo and conditioner. So this is meant um, for people who have like a dry scalp or like a sensitive scalp which is me. I have a very sensitive scalp. Basically just all the skin on my body is sensitive skin, especially on my face and like my scalp. So this shampoo and conditioner has been um, a total lifesaver for me. It has made my scalp behave and my hair behave. Plus I just love the minty scent of it, especially with the shampoo. When I use it in the morning, it just really wakes me up and it feels really nice and cool on my scalp. I have bought these, I think three times. So this is my second set of them, and then I've already repurchased another set of them to go through. But once I finish that set, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch up my shampoo and conditioner because I heard that it's not good to keep using the same exact shampoo and conditioner over and over and over again. So while this is a really good shampoo and conditioner, I think after I finish up the ones that I'm working on now, I am going to move on to trying out a different shampoo and conditioner. And if for some reason that one upsets my scalp, then I may very well come back to using this one since this one I just know doesn't give my head any issues and it keeps my scalp nice and moisturized. Um, which is something that I always look for in a good shampoo and conditioner. Moving on to skincare, the first thing I have is this Yes to Carrots Soothing Gentle Milk Cleanser. I actually got this one a while ago, it just took me a while to work through it because I was using a bunch of other cleansers too. Um, but I really do like this cleanser. I really like the kind of like milky consistency that it has to it. It's not like a super thick um, like gel-like cleanser but it's not a like foaming cleanser. It's just like a nice kind of thin milk. Like the best way to describe it is just as a, like it says, like a milky cleanser. Um, it's pretty thin, but it definitely leaves your skin feeling very moisturized. My skin never felt tight after washing when I used this, which was really nice because I have really dry skin. It says that it has um, soy proteins and green tea. Um, for a moisturizing cleanse that won't strip skin, I definitely agree. My skin did feel really nice after using this. Um, I didn't repurchase this one just because I wanted to try out um, a couple other cleansers that I'm currently using um, and I didn't 
since I was working on those cleansers, I didn't uh, feel like I needed to buy another cleanser. I'm rambling so much in this video, oh my god. I would definitely recommend this to anyone out there who has sensitive, red, or like dry skin, which for me, I have all three of those, and it really did a great job keeping my skin clean without stripping it of any of its natural moisture, so yeah. Really great cleanser. I have another Yes To Cucumbers product. This is the Daily Calming Moisturizer. So this is just their everyday moisturizer that they have in the same uh, soothing, like sensitive skin, skincare line that they have. Um, I liked this moisturizer. My issue was that I have never been a person who uses a different moisturizer at night and in the morning. So this works great as like you're in the morning before you put on your makeup moisturizer. But at night, I realized that I really need a moisturizer that is way heavier um, when I go to bed at night so that I wake up with my skin feeling nice and moisturized and not super dry. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a daily like morning moisturizer and you have sensitive skin. It's really great for that, especially after using the Gentle Milk Cleanser. The two uh, pair really, really nicely. Plus, I love the way that this smells. It has a nice uh, cucumber scent to it, which just is a very nice, fresh scent, um, especially in the morning. But yeah, I had no issues with this uh, little moisturizer. I'm trying a different one now that's a little bit heavier, and I think I like that one more just because I do have such dry skin. But I may one day end up repurchasing, repurchasing this again if my skin ever is a little bit less dry because it is a really nice, light uh, daily moisturizer. Next up, I have this simple uh, micellar cleansing water. I have like the tiniest amount left in this, but I guess I'm just not going to use that up. I don't know, I guess I decided I was done with it. I liked this cleansing water. I feel like it didn't always do the best job of getting everything out of my skin, especially once I tried out the Bioderma, their uh, micellar water. I would, like, this one doesn't even compare to that one, I don't think. I think the Bioderma one is amazing. It's so good. It really gets everything off of my skin, like it takes off all of my makeup. Whereas with this one, I felt like I kind of had to work a little bit more to get all my makeup off. Another thing with this one compared to the Bioderma one is that the Bioderma one, I feel like it makes my skin better. Like, I feel like it actually does other stuff to my skin. It just makes it feel more, like, balanced and more moisturized. Whereas this one, like, yes, it did remove a lot of my makeup, but I didn't feel like it was doing anything else to benefit my skin. So I haven't repurchased this one, and I don't know if I will be repurchasing this one. Um, we'll see when I finish my Bioderma one. That one is kind of annoying because I have to order it online. So I'm thinking I'm going to try out a couple of the other micellar waters that they have at the drugstore, but I don't think that I'll be going back to this one. I just didn't like it that much. Next up, I have this Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic, which is basically just their exfoliating toner. It's a chemical exfoliant, not a, like, um, physical exfoliant like a sugar scrub would be because it has a glycolic acid in it which acts as a exfoliant. So this toner is amazing. There's a reason that it is like seriously raved about um, online. It is a really really good toner and when I was using this I definitely saw huge improvements in the like brightness of my skin. My skin definitely looked a lot more bright and it was definitely more even. My only issue with this product is that it's $15 for, what size is this, 3.4 fluid ounces, which for me is just kind of ridiculous. And so last time I was at Target, I decided that I wanted, like, I haven't been using a toner for a while. Since I used this one up, I haven't been using a toner. And while, when I was at Target the other week, I decided to pick up a new toner, and I found this one, like, specifically for dry skin that was probably three or four times the size of this one and it was $9 compared to $15. So for me, I just personally cannot justify the price tag. Like, yes, it did make my skin like look noticeably brighter, but my skin looks fine without it too. And this other toner that I'm using, I feel like does a really good job as well. Like this one didn't address the fact that I had dry skin, but the other toner does help with my dry skin. So I feel like this just didn't do everything that I wanted out of a toner. But if you are looking for something to brighten up your skin and for you to really see a difference, I would recommend this if you're willing to pay uh, the $15 for <laughs> such a tiny little amount, in my opinion. I know that skincare can get super pricey, but like I'm a college student, and so I just am always trying to find the cheapest skincare possible that works for me. And so this one didn't quite make the cut. 
Next up, I have this Clinique Redness Solutions um, Cleanser. It's supposed to have like probiotic technology to improve um, the redness of your skin. So I bought this little set from Ulta and it was this plus a moisturizer plus a like makeup primer that was tinted green. Um, and I was super disappointed in all three of the products that I bought. I went ahead and like used up this entire cleanser because I was determined to make it work. I used it every day, you know, morning and night for until I ran out of the little bottle and I never saw any difference in the redness of my skin, which was kind of disappointing. Um, I was kind of annoyed about that. The moisturizer, again, I used that, like it said, and that didn't do anything for me either. So I was a little bit disappointed that um, the set didn't really work for me. And the green makeup uh, primer just... I know some people believe in color correcting, but I personally just don't have the time in the morning when I'm getting ready to make color correcting work. And with the primer, when I would apply it, it would like rub off of my skin and like little like it would like roll up into little like balls of product if I rubbed it in too much and so I just it was a hassle to use so not a fan of this or either of those other two items that's in the redness solutions line at Clinique I mean this was like a nice cleanser I guess but it didn't do any none of the products did anything to help with the redness of my skin I went through three tubes of chapstick which is actually kind of impressive but also I have had these chapsticks for like forever. Like I'm pretty sure I've had this Burt's Bees like pink grapefruit one since high school. So it was like definitely about time that I finished that one up. And then I finished up a chapstick spearmint and a chapstick strawberry. And of course I repurchased a nice chapstick. I love chapstick. They are my favorite. Like the chapstick brand chapstick is my favorite. Um, lip balm to buy. So yeah, nothing to... I right, I dropped one, but nothing too exciting here, just some chapstick. Next up, I have quite a few Lush products. I actually used these up, I think, last summer. It's just I didn't have them with me at school, and now that I'm back home, I realized that I held on to them so I could take the pots to Lush and get a free face mask. I figured I'd just talk about these real quick. The first one is the Aqua Marina Cleanser. Oh my goodness, I love this cleanser. Let me see. Okay, there's like a little bit left in here, but I basically used up the entire thing. This cleanser, oh my gosh. I love the smell of this cleanser. With aloe vera, sea salt, and mineral rich seaweed, this cleanser was created to cool and soothe the skin with ingredients sourced from the sea. So this is like amazing if you have sensitive dry skin like me. It's basically like a solid cleanser where you take a little scoop of it and you mix it with water and then you rub it into your face and it just, oh, it leaves your skin feeling so soft and moisturized after using it. It's such a nice gentle cleanser. Um, and I really like that it was solid because it made traveling with it super easy not having to worry about a liquid that was going to spill. So I feel like I definitely one day will repurchase this. It's just where I go to school, there is no Lush like near me at all. Even when I'm home, the nearest Lush is still an hour away and ordering online is kind of annoying. So that's the main reason that I didn't repurchase this because I really did love this cleanser a lot. I actually kind of forgot about it. So I'm glad I found this in my bathroom. Next, I have Celestial, which is a facial moisturizer. And once again, why do I, I always leave like the tiniest amount of product left and I don't know why I do that, but this is definitely expired. I need to clean this out. This says, transport sensitive skin to a higher plane, especially formulated to create a light barrier on the skin to stop the loss of moisture and keep sensitive skin feeling calm. Again, really, really love this. I just remember being a little bit pricey for how much I actually got in the thing, which is why I went back to using like moisturizers from the drugstore. If you are in the market to spend a little bit more on your everyday moisturizer, I think Celestial is amazing. I did love it a lot, um, but for me, like I said, getting Lush products is just not the easiest, but I could definitely see myself repurchasing this in the future, you know, once I'm not a broke college student. <laughs> Last but not least from Lush, I have a used up thing of Ocean Salt, and I really need to repurchase this because Ocean Salt, again, I leave like the smallest amount left. I just, I don't know why I don't finish things. It's so weird. Ocean Salt is amazing. It is one of my all time favorite exfoliants, whether it's for your face or somewhere on your body or even just like to give your hands a quick scrub. It leaves everything feeling so smooth, so soft and also moisturized. I like, I seriously would argue that this is the best 
scrub like exfoliant of all time because it's so versatile and it leaves your skin feeling so like nourished afterwards not dry which I feel like some exfoliants do and it's not too harsh of an exfoliant it's just it's just perfect if you haven't tried this I seriously recommend picking up a little jar of it and giving it a go because ugh, it is amazing I have two tubes of toothpaste the exact same toothpaste it's the Colgate optic white whiter teeth in one week um, I don't think this made my teeth like amazingly white but I do think it helped fight stains from drinking coffee and drinking tea which is something that I do pretty regularly um, I just like to use a whitening toothpaste to kind of feel like I'm doing something extra in my um, like dental care routine so I just always tend to grab any sort of whitening toothpaste when I'm buying a new toothpaste and I'm pretty sure I already bought another tube of this so I'm just gonna continue to use this Colgate optic white toothpaste I'm a fan. And to go along with the toothpaste, of course, I had to get the uh, mouthwash as well. I've used this one up. I really, really like this mouthwash. I feel like using this along with the toothpaste is really what's going to give your teeth that extra, like, boost of, like, brightness. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend this. It's not too, too minty, but it definitely leaves your breath and your mouth feeling super clean for a little bit longer than it would if you just did brushing alone. Last but not least, I have a couple makeup items I'm gonna try to get through pretty quickly because I feel like this video is getting way too long. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This foundation is amazing. I'm on my second tube of it right now and I'm already almost done with that one, so I probably am gonna need to buy another one soon. But this foundation is amazing. Um, there's like a highlighter mixed in with the foundation, so your skin looks super glowy when you put this on. Um, it doesn't stick to any of my, like, cling to any of my dry patches, which is really nice. And it just makes my skin look healthy and glowy and alive and not, you know, kind of dead and dull and dry like it can look sometimes. Even though it says on here that this is a medium coverage, I feel like this is a pretty full coverage foundation. And you definitely can build it up to a more full coverage. Like for me, my skin isn't like completely one color right now and my redness does peek through a little bit, but it looks like I think that that makes it just look more natural. So I really like the way that this looks on my skin. This is just my everyday go-to foundation. I just do one layer of it. If I'm going out, I might put some extra on my cheeks where they get a little bit more red. Um, but the staying power of this foundation is really good. I don't set it with a powder just because I do have such dry skin and it'll last me through an entire day at work or, you know, it would last me through a whole day at school. Really like this foundation. Last but not least, I'm going to be talking about the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water once again. I never finish anything completely. I just, you know, until there's just the tiniest amount left, then I, I stop using it. I don't know why. So the story with this is that last summer I went to Sephora on a mission to buy the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and that was what I was going to buy. But as I was up there looking at it, a Sephora employee came over to me and was like, but wait, have you seen the new Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water? She was like, this is amazing, you can use it before your makeup and after your makeup, it'll set it, it'll make your skin like ready for foundation, it's just going to make your life so much better. I love this way more than the Urban Decay one. And I was like, well, I mean, you're obviously the ex expert, you know, I believe you. So I got this one instead. And let's just say when I ran out of this one, I did not go buy another one of this. I went and bought the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Because this is not meant to be a setting spray. This was nice to spray on my face before I applied my makeup. Like, I guess it was kind of hydrating and like refreshing. And it did do a good job of, like, making my makeup look less cakey, but it didn't make my makeup last any longer. When I used the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, my makeup lasts way longer. Like, it stays in place. Like, it is locked in. Um, this just didn't do that, and because that's what I was looking for, um, I don't think I'll be repurchasing this product uh, ever again, just because it isn't what I look for in a like face spray thing. All right guys, so those are all the empties I have for you guys today. Sorry that this turned into such a long video. I didn't realize I had so much to say about every single uh, item that I talked about. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for sticking around and hanging out with me today and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!